Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. Let's talk about what we're doing in baseball right now, but first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now I'm in a bad position on some bets, right? I believe, still believe, that the best team in baseball are the Los Angeles Dodgers, right? After all, the Dodgers won 106 games this year, right? But the Dodgers have done themselves in. They're down three games to one against the Atlanta Braves. Now, I understand fully that the Atlanta Braves have problems, right? Understand, in the regular season this year, against above 500 teams, the Atlanta Braves finished under 500, right? In other words, Atlanta during the regular season fell apart against good teams. Also, we know the history. Last year in the playoffs, Atlanta was up three games to one on the Dodgers just like they are this year and Atlanta fell apart the Dodgers ended up winning the National League Championship Series in seven games and of course the Dodgers went on to win the World Series last year but one of the lessons I've learned in life is that you cannot fight the tape the Dodgers are down three games to one again this year the one game they won, they shouldn't have won. That was a improbable late comeback, right? A home run by Cody Bellinger. So um, I believe right now it's necessary, if you're a futures better, that you take the odds being offered right here on the Atlanta Braves to win the whole thing. Understand, I don't believe they do. I believe the second best team in baseball are the Houston Astros. Right? I believe the Astros are a better team than the Braves. But I want leverage. And I already have a position on the Astros, just like I had a position on the Dodgers. So right here, I'm going to have to concede defeat. I'm going to have to, in real time, come to grips with the idea that the Dodgers are not going to win the National League. That that giant series took too much out of them. So, the Atlanta Braves. You're getting a plus 179 right here. Now hear me clearly. I'm not saying the Braves win Game 5. I'm not saying the odds don't get even more skewed, right? That tomorrow, the casino doesn't offer you better odds if the Braves lose game five. But what I am saying is I believe it's highly improbable that this Dodger team wins the next three games of the series like they did last year. Right? My operating assumption going forward is that the Braves are coming out of this series. Right? So, right here, in terms of the bets I'm making, if you're a futures better, you understand the idea of hedging. I'm going to have to increase my position on the Braves. Right? I'm going to have to look at how much money I bet on the Dodgers, and I'm going to have to say, well, wow. My only chance of getting this money back is by having money on one of the teams that eventually wins the World Series. I consider the Braves already in the series. I think the Braves win one of the next three games. Right? So, the casino is offering me a paltry plus 179 today. Again, a plus 179 on the Braves to win the whole thing. No need to put a bow on the package. Wrap it up. I'll take it right here. Braves, plus 179. 
I believe the Braves make the World Series. Of the teams left, right, Boston, the Astros, the Braves, I believe the Astros are clearly the best team. Right, but I already have money on them. So here I'm going to put money on the Braves at a plus 179. Let me also say this too. Game 6 of the ALCS. If the Boston Red Sox, right, a team with a scoring margin per game of only half a run, right, if the Boston Red Sox win game six of the ALCS, then out of necessity to protect my possible profit, since I already have money on the Astros, I'm going to put some money on the Red Sox, not because I believe the Red Sox are better than the Astros. I don't. But just so I'm able to win if either the Astros or Red Sox win that Game 7 should the Red Sox survive Game 6. Let's remember, the Red Sox were a wild card. Just food for thought. So to sum up, the play I'm recommending in this video is to bet on the Atlanta Braves. In fact, let me change the wording of that. What I'm doing, I want you to think for yourself. What I'm doing because of my betting portfolio, because I was heavy on the Los Angeles Dodgers, and quite frankly, they have let me down. Right, And because I want the representative of the National League in my futures prop. Right? What I'm doing here is I'm taking Atlanta at a plus 179. Understand, should Atlanta lose game five, I'm going to be upping the bet on Atlanta because I assume I'll be able to get even better odds. I just don't believe for the second year in a row that the Dodgers in my opinion, the best team in baseball. But I just don't believe that the Dodgers are going to win the last three games of the National Championship League Series. So that's what I'm doing. Let me hear from you. Understand, this is an odd year where some excellent teams have been offed. Right? The Giants, of course, lost to the Dodgers. Tampa Bay, with 100 wins, of course, is no longer viable right I believe the Dodgers with 106 wins have put themselves in a hole that they can't can't climb out of I'm expecting the Atlanta Braves who are up 3-1 to come out of the National League so any opportunity I get to take the Braves at the current plus 179 or higher I'm gonna take that's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. And make no mistake, if the Braves come out of the National League and end up facing the Astros in the series, I believe the Astros are the better team. Right? But my bets will be determined by how much money I have on what team for a given game, right? So just food for thought. We'll keep the conversation going. Thanks for stopping by.